And now it's time for a Q&A from you, the viewers. And our first question comes in in regards to our Pi VPN overview I did a few days ago. Uh, that's a neat little script that you can run on a Raspberry Pi to turn it into an open VPN server. And this viewer was curious if it was really secure. And I think it is very secure because it is based on OpenVPN, which is an open source project that has been around for a while. It actually just went through a successful security audit, uh, which you can find linked to on screen here. And they very quickly patched up some of the minor things that they discovered uh, as part of that audit. There was a few uh, small vulnerabilities discovered in it. Uh, one of the things that you'll be prompted to do when you're installing Pi VPN is to have it automatically update itself because OpenVPN has its own code, but it's also very reliant on OpenSSL, which is a secure socket layer uh, open source project, which is separate from OpenVPN. And when you do have those updates run, those packages will get updated frequently. And it's good to make sure you're always up on your updates because if there is a vulnerability discovered, it usually gets patched very quickly by one of these two projects. But you have to make sure you are patching your computer and your Raspberry Pi in this instance uh, to be able to take advantage of those uh, security patches. So I think that's always the key is keeping yourself up to date. Uh, now, one of the things you might want to look at is this link on screen here, which offers some additional recommendations for improving security after installation. A big one is securing the root user account on your Raspberry Pi. That was something we didn't do in my video. Uh, they offer some additional suggestions in this article as well. Now, this article is kind of geared towards people running one of these in a virtual machine, but I think you can uh, make the connection to doing the same things on your Raspberry Pi. And these will make things a little more secure, especially if there is a vulnerability that gets discovered. If you have a more secure root user account, uh, you may not have as big of a problem as you otherwise would with an insecure one. So just keep an eye on that. But nothing's perfect. And if you remember from a couple of years ago, there was a really uh, devastating bug in the open SSL package called Heartbleed. Uh, and this allowed people to basically peek into the RAM of the server and see uh, unencrypted data as a result of that. And when Heartbleed hit, this also impacted OpenVPN because, again, it is based on OpenSSL for its security. Uh, so there is an article that you can see on screen here from a few years ago about what that meant for OpenVPN users. Now, Heartbleed was a number of years ago. This has been corrected. If you go and install Pi VPN today, uh, these vulnerabilities are no longer there. So this is an old issue, but I think an example of why you always want to make sure you're keeping your stuff up to date uh, because this vulnerability in OpenSSL impacted a lot of different things, including OpenVPN. Uh, but as of now, it is a very secure platform, and I think you should feel comfortable and safe using it. This channel is brought to you by the LAN.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.